it's not who I am. I'm 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 shining through positive, you know. Um, and I feel like you know, with understanding and with everything, I feel like people understand that what what my heart wasn't there to be the villain, you know. I was there to be like a hometown hero. Rappers are known to show an aggressive attitude in their concerts, as it's the vibe of the genre. But Travis Scott not only hypes the crowd, he calls for the chaos. From jumping the barricades to sneaking in illegally, he encourages all kind of behavior which can make his concert venue a safety hazard. In 2021, the world saw what this kind of ignorant attitude could lead up to when he conducted his third Astro World Music Festival. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 13, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Travis's History of Violent Concerts Every time Travis held a concert, he always made it to the news for his violent ways on stage. Other musicians like it when their fans have fun without creating a ruckus, but Travis isn't one of them. Even before going on stage, he keeps hounding on his fans to be more aggressive. Right before coming on the stage, he tweets things like, we still sneak in the wild ones in. He sent this tweet after the concert tickets were fully sold out for his concert in 2019. This kind of encouragement is not only dangerous for those who would do anything their idol would say, but also those who'd be present at the venue thinking that their safety is ensured. Everyone have fun. Ragers set the tone when I come out tonight. Be safe, rage hard. Ah! Before coming to the concert, Scott likes to rile his fans up to become their wildest self. These tweets are just one of the many. His team has now removed all tweets like these as an act of redemption. Astro World wasn't the first time that the rapper got in trouble for encouraging the rowdy behavior in his fans. Back in 2015, he was arrested in Chicago for encouraging disorderly conduct at his shows. He kept cheering on for fans who were climbing over the security barricades to reach the stage. Then again in 2017, he incited a fan for jumping off the second floor by saying, I see you, but are you gonna do it? In that same concert, a fan named Kyle Green got paralyzed after she was pushed off the third floor balcony. She then sued the rapper for his provocative statement. In 2018 also, he riled up fans to come on the stage at the Arkansas concert. Astro World Tragedy When Travis released the Astro World album in 2018, it truly made him one of the biggest artists of the year. That album made his fan following humongous, and he then decided to launch his own music festival called the Astro World. Things were never great in that fest. In the second Astro World festival, hundreds of people tried to jump over metal barricades. Three people were hospitalized due to leg injuries. However, nobody could have guessed where all of these incidents were leading up to. On 4th of November 2021, Travis held his annual Astro World Music Festival, which was supposed to have an audience of 50,000 people. The staff has said that the crowd was rowdier than ever, but it was all still in control when other rappers were performing. As soon as Travis came on stage, things started getting out of hand. He hyped the crowd to get more wild, and then everything went south. Around 9.30 p.m., the paramedics started hearing cries for help. They were getting notified of people getting injured due to the massive crowd crush. Things got so much worse that even an ambulance had to be sent to the front row, as they were the ones getting most affected. The security members were not able to handle the massive crowd stampede, and soon the word got out about it being a mass casualty event. Before this in 1979, at the Who concert, things got so out of control, which resulted in 11 people dying. Conspiracy Theories on TikTok as soon as the news of this harrowing incident got out, people started diving deep into the investigation. One of the biggest conspiracy theories that have been circulating around since the horrific news broke out is that it was a planned catastrophe. A TikTok user claimed that Travis is a Satan worshiper, and he arranged this whole Astro World sacrifice. He did that by putting people under some sort of spell, and then innocent, unsuspecting people lost their lives. Many people bought into this theory, and they made the hashtag Astro World Sacrifice a big trend on Twitter. People shared images of what they suspected to be satanic symbols from the show. However, kind of hate speech is against the guidelines of TikTok, which is why these videos have been removed from the platform. The people who safely got out of the concert quashed this theory by saying that people are spreading hoaxes without knowing anything that happened at the concert. Negligent Attitude While a section of the crowd is to be blamed largely for this unspeakable tragedy, the role that Travis Scott played cannot be completely ignored. He was on the stage, and he was looking at what was going on in front of him. The first video that provided a glimpse to people about what was it like at the music festival was of a girl trying to tell the staff about someone who had possibly died in front of her. She was doing everything to convince them to stop the concert, but nobody listened to her. Then an image of an ambulance being stuck in the midst of the crazy fans showed just how abnormal the whole situation was. Travis saw the ambulance and even stopped the concert for two seconds, but then he started again and went on for 40 more minutes. In those 40 minutes, eight people lost their lives on the spot, while more than 300 attendees got severely injured. 
Unfortunately, 10 people died as a result of the crowd surge. Travis and his partner Kylie maintained the stance that they had no idea about what was going on. Travis even went to a party right after the show. People couldn't believe the ignorance he was showing, and as a result they started a campaign to ban him from performing. Many shows decided to pull him out of their lineup. This made him apologize to his fans, and he even announced to bear the funeral costs which the families of the victims rejected. Since the Astro World tragedy, Travis has been laying low. His once flourishing career has now been derailed, but only time will tell if he's learned from his antics or not. And with that, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below, do you think Travis will change his ways or not? Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching, until next time.